Hey there, and welcome to a video essay done on The Truman Show. This essay will focus on film elements used in the show, but specifically camera angles as well as visual images. These two elements make for an incredibly exciting and as well as interesting film experience as it is not done in almost any other movie that I've seen. The first thing we're going to talk about today are the camera angles The Truman Show uses. Now, the movie does something very interesting in making sure that almost every time that we see Truman, it is believable that it's actually a camera used on the set of the TV show that he is in. The only time the movie breaks this is when it's showing the audience that is watching the show. And this is done to reinforce what the character you are feeling. This is done extremely well in almost all cases. One really well done example of this is when Truman and his wife are driving a car and you can see the air conditioning vent through the camera. And while there are many more examples of camera angles being used expertly in the film, it is mostly just more the same. However, a major gripe of the movie for me is that not all cameras are believable, such as when they're driving down the road through the fire and yet a camera follows them from above. For something that is much more subtle but I appreciate much more in the movie and that's all the visual images they place on the screen at a time. Some of these visual images also increase the immersion that you're actually watching it on TV such as all the product placements that you see. Merrill is constantly advertising products to Truman as well as the show which really helps you believe that this show is a real thing that people actually watch because it's how TV shows make money like this. It's a chef's pal. It's a Dicer Grater Peeler all-in-one. Never need sharpening, dishwasher safe. Wow, that's amazing. Even the picture that I've been showing you the whole time has visual images of how hard people on the set are working to make sure of Truman and where his whereabouts are. My favorite example of visual images in the movie is when Truman goes into the travel agency and sees a plane getting struck by lightning poster. This helps the viewer understand why Truman hasn't left because when he sees stuff like this, I wouldn't want to leave either. Thank you for joining me on this video essay as we dove deep into the film elements of The Truman Show. And in case I don't see ya... Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Nah, <laughs> Thank you so much for watching.